Hello and welcome. My name is Mark. This is Riffle Shuffle and Roll, and today you're here to learn a little game called Hucklebuck. If it's your first time visiting the channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. Before we dive in, I just want to take a quick second and invite you to my Reddit page and the Discord channel that I'm on. The traditional card game Discord channel is not my creation, but it is a great place to find other people who want to play games or talk about classic gaming. My Reddit page is my home base where I post about once a week with updates, and that's a great place to be if you want to kind of keep tabs on Riffle Shuffle and Roll. All right, let's dive into Hucklebuck. Hucklebuck is a card game for three to seven players. It's in the trick family. Its key mechanisms and features include trick taking, a trump suit, a draw phase, and the ability to drop out for the round. The objective for each round is to capture at least one trick. The objective for the game is to be the first player to reach 11 points or more. In order to play Hucklebuck, all you need is a 52 card deck and a way to keep score. In this game, twos are low, aces are high, and the trump suit it always ranks higher than the other three suits. To set up for the round, the dealer should shuffle and deal out five cards to each player. We are gonna play a five player example. Place the rest of the cards in the center as a draw pile. Turn up the top card to determine the trump suit for the round. After the cards have been dealt and the trump suit has been determined, in a game that has five or more players, there is a round of determining whether each player will stay in or out of the hand. A game must have five or more players in order to do this. So in a game with five players, one may bow out. In a game of six, two players can choose to bow out of the round. And in a game with seven players, three may choose to bow out for the round. Once that limit has been reached, no one else is allowed to bow out. So starting with the player to the left of the dealer, they say in or out. This is a five player example, so only one player will be allowed to bow out. In a game with three or four players, everyone must stay in the round. So we start here with the player left of the dealer. They say in. The next player, so they're gonna go ahead and say out. When a player goes, says that they want to be out for the round, they simply turn their hand in face down to form a discard pile. Since this player has opted out of the round, nobody else has that opportunity, and that part of the game is done. It's time to move on to the draw phase. In this game, players get a chance to exchange cards from their hand. Beginning with the player left of the dealer again, that player can choose zero to five cards that they wanna trade in. So this player is gonna go ahead and ask for two. Those cards go to the discard pile and the dealer gives them two cards. Those two cards are added to the player's hand. The draw phase continues like that with each player trading in as many cards as they want. They do not have to trade in any if they want to keep their hand. Once the draw phase is complete, the draw pile and the discard pile are set aside. The trump card should be kept visible so people can remember what the trump suit is for the round. Play begins with the player left of the dealer. They can choose any card from their hand to lead with. This player chooses to lead with the king of hearts. Now, all other players must follow suit if they can. If they cannot follow suit, they may play any card from their hand. So the next player decides to play the four of hearts. This player follows suits as well, playing the three, and this player with the seven. The highest card in the suit that was led or the highest trump card takes the trick. The king of hearts takes the trick. The trick is collected and placed face down. The player that takes the trick leads again. This time they're gonna try their luck with diamonds and lead the jack of diamonds. The next player cannot follow suit. They can play anything from their hand. They're gonna go ahead and play a trump suited six of spades. 
The next player also does not have a diamond, so they choose to play the trump suited seven of spades. So far, this player is now capturing the trick. The final player has a diamond, they must play it. The seven of spades takes the trick. Play like that will continue until all of the tricks have been played. Once the final trick has been played and collected, the round is over and it's time to tally up the score. Players earn one point for each trick they captured. If a player fails to capture any tricks, they lose three points off their score. A player's score cannot go below zero. If a player opted to bow out of the round, their score does not change. They do not earn any points and they do not lose any points. After the score has been tallied, collect the cards, pass them to the next dealer, which is the player sitting to the left of the previous dealer, and continue playing rounds until the game is over. The first player to reach 11 points or more wins the game. If there is a tie, play until the tie is broken. Well, that's how to play Hucklebuck. As you can see, it's kind of a combination of Turnip Euchre and Bure. I, I think it leans more towards the Bure end of the spectrum. And I don't know, I think it's a pretty interesting little game. The downside to it is that it is more fun where, when you have more than four players because it allows for that dropout phase and it makes things a little more interesting. All right, well with that, again, let me invite you over to my Reddit page and the Discord channel. Those links are down below. I hope to see you over there. And um, like I said, that Discord channel is super active. So if you wanna jump into that and get to meet a lot of people, start playing some games, I think you will have a really good time. That's it for now. And until next time, keep on playing.